Hi and welcome to Cooked with Clara. Today I am going to show you how to make chili con carne. The ingredients that we need for chili con carne are onions, garlic chili, a red pepper, mince, cannellini beans or butter beans and red kidney beans. The red kidney beans are the traditional one to have so always make sure you have those. A can of whole peeled tomatoes, tomato puree and ground cumin and the whole thing I will be serving on a bed of basmati rice which I will show you how to cook now as well. Onion first thing nice finely chopped. Next up is garlic down oh I'm using two cloves of garlic chili because it is chili cut up so we need chili I'm using jalapeno chilies okay next up red pepper cut it down I'm taking out the pips we want them all to be the same size because we want to make sure that they cook at the same pace and at the same time. Beautiful! This looks stunning actually. This looks really nice. Next step for our fabulous chili con carne is putting it in the pot and starting to cook. High heat. Go for it. I'm using sunflower oil, canola oil, you can use coconut oil. I'd say three tablespoons or like a good look. Oh, listen to that. It's beautiful. Okay, garlic goes in, chili goes in. Well then. Now we leave this a little bit. Don't stir the whole time. Some stage you also actually just want the onions just to sit and actually get some colour um, or get some proper heat from the bottom. This process is hard to tell how long. I would say about three minutes. But you want your onions to be a little bit translucent, a little bit of colour, not brown. You don't want brown onions because then they're going to get burnt and that's not very yummy. I haven't added the peppers because I first want to fry the minced meat that I've got over here to make it nice and brown. If I add the peppers first, I'm not going to get the nice brown colour on the mince, which is a real big trick to making a good mince dish. I'm adding the mince to my dish. Now I'm going to show you something cool, how you can prevent lumps from happening. Try and like break up the mint. Can you see that it's becoming unlumpy? And now I can assure you there will be no lumps. Mint has been added, it's been smoothed out so we don't have lumps and I'm cooking it on a medium to high heat. And now the thing is, and it will take time, but it makes all the difference, is make sure that you brown your meat. Browning your meat ensures flavor. You can see there's a little bit of water here. This is obviously the natural water that's in the meat. And we're going to wait for that to cook out. And eventually it will become really nice and brown. Okay, I'm gonna add a teaspoon, a little bit less teaspoon cumin. Starting to brown at the bottom of the pot, which means that the mince is starting to brown. The more brown the mince, the tastier. I'm going to add the tomato paste. This is two tablespoons. Most important thing about tomato paste is to cook it out. That means you need to cook it for at least two to three minutes, otherwise, it's going to be bitter. Now I'm going to add my canned tomatoes. I do it like this. With the same can, that I've just used here. I'm going to add half a can of water. And this is now how we're going to get all that beautiful flavor at the bottom of the pot off. See there? Pot's clean. And that is the trick to a wonderful dish. That crispy brown. Now I'm going to turn it down to medium heat. I've added the tomato paste, the tomatoes, and a little bit of water just to help it all come together. And now I'm going to add my red peppers. Peppers are in, lid on, down to medium heat. And we let that simmer for around 15 to 20 minutes. The next step, after our mince has been cooking for around 15 minutes, 
we are going to add the beans. The reason that I haven't added the beans right from the beginning is I don't want them to fall apart and become mush. So, I've got one can over here and I'm going to rinse them first. In go the cannellini beans. I'm also going to rinse the butter beans. Just a quick rinsey rinsey, there we go. Then they go. And stir. My smile is due to the fact that this is so yummy and I'm so excited right now. Salt and pepper. That's it. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready to plate. Beautiful basmati rice. And then I'm going to take some fresh coriander. This is my favorite part. This has to be the funnest part about having a show like this is to taste food all the time. <laughs> I'm feeling this baby. I'm feeling this is fabulous and I'm feeling it really, really, really yum. A quick tip, when you have this fabulous chili con carne left over, which you most probably will not have, but anyway, if you do, let it cool down first then pop it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer for next time you don't feel like cooking and feel like a great dish. So thank you for watching the show today on fabulous chili con carne that is evidently very delicious. Um, if you've enjoyed our video, please subscribe to our channel or come and visit the website at cookwithclara.com. Uh, next up is garlic. Wait, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute with the baby. Mm. Oh, Peppa baby.